Hello and welcome to my new video which is based on the Fourier series expansion. What are Fourier series? If you have to express a function in the form of Fourier series, that means you have to express your function in terms of periodic repetitions of sine and cosine functions. Okay, so how can you evaluate it? You can evaluate it by the help of Euler's formula. In Euler's formula, there are three coefficients, three Euler coefficients like sine for sine for cos and for constant on a naught listen your Euler's formula is you can express any function in the form of a naught by 2 plus sigma n1 to infinity a n cos nx plus b n sine nx now one by one you have to find out these arbitrary constant, these Euler formulas constant, A0, AN and BN. So how can you evaluate them? A0, for A0, this is also under the concept of Euler's formula. 1 by pi fx dx, your interval, limit is up to your interval like here, minus pi to pi. So 1 by pi, minus pi to pi, your fx, your function is? x minus x square dx now if you evaluate it you very well know about the calculus integral calculus x becomes x square by 2 minus x square becomes x cube by 3 and the limit up to minus pi to pi so it will form 1 by pi firstly substitute pi and in place of x pi square by 2 minus pi cube by 3 minus in formula Minus pi square is pi square. Minus pi q minus minus plus pi q pi 3. And it will form pi square by 2 cancel with pi square by 2. Minus 2 pi q 3 by 3. And hence minus 2 pi square by 3. It's your, it is the value of your A0. Now it comes to find out the value of A n. The formula according to Euler's formula for A n is minus pi to pi fx cos nx dx so 1 by pi minus pi to pi your fx is x minus x square cos nx dx now because uh, you have to find out the integral of these two which are in product then you have to apply by parts so how can you evaluate by parts integral remember this thing that if you have to find out the multiple integral of any two variables then what you have to do you have to consider uh, a function as first and second and then continuously what you have to do make first take first function continue uh, constant other one you have to do its integral this is plus sign then alternatively minus sign plus sign differentiation of first integration of this one differentiation of this one integration of this one and it will be continuously recurred okay so in this you uh, you have to consider first function as those terms uh, which can be easily differentiated and ends up to something so here we have to consider first as x minus x square so first function as it is integration of second cos is sine nx by n know it that if you have to find out the value of cos theta then it will be sine theta but because here theta is uh, not present you have to find out the differentiation of nx and divide it with it okay then minus differentiation of this one integration of this one sine is minus cos nx by n but n is also already present there, so n square. Minus is here, so plus uh, differentiation of this, minus 2. Integration of this one, cos is sine. Limit, minus pi to pi. Is it okay? You cannot evaluate it further because the differentiation of minus 2 becomes 0 then. Now, substitute these terms. Remember, whenever there is a term of pi, limit of pi, and there is uh, the sine function, then you very well know about it that the value of sine in pi 
is what? Zero. 